Welcome to the Riverside Training Facility. I'm Lieutenant Sonny Bonds. I'll be observing your practice run from the catwalks and giving you a few pointers about our procedures. I'm sure you've heard all of this before, but it never hurts to practice one more time. As you know, training is what gives SWAT the edge in the field. Take advantage of this facility to test out your weapons and meet your new team. When you're ready to start, just go through the door. This is the firing range. Firearm proficiency is a top. A good thing to practice is the so-called failure drill. That's when you take two shots at the body and then one at the head. When you are finished with that, step up to the center station. Pistol is your backup weapon. Usually Police, used put when your hands up! Find or don't have time to reload. At this range, pistols and shotguns become less accurate, and it's often best to use a submachine gun or an assault rifle. Equip your primary weapon and take some shots at this mid range target. Submachine guns and rifles have multiple firing modes, ranging from single shot to full automatic. The M4 fires in semi and full auto mode. The submachine gun has semi auto and a three round burst. When you're done, move down to the long range station. At long range, accuracy becomes imperative. Your ability to control your weapon with skill and discipline will save your life and the lives of the people around you. If you set the M4 on full auto, you will quickly lose control of it due to recoil. Give it a try now. Take your M4 to full auto and try to follow up with short controlled bursts. When you're finished on the range, move through the door. Now you can see how hard it can be to control your weapon and remain accurate at this range. Police! Get down now! Not bad. Remember, you're most accurate when you have a strong and stable firing position. When you try to move and shoot, your accuracy is going to suffer. The faster you move, the worse your aim will be. Your accuracy will be highest when you're standing still and crouching. This portion of the range is for firing at multiple targets behind cover. Try moving and firing at them to get a sense of just how movements affect your accuracy. When you must move and fire, Keep in mind that moving smoothly at a constant speed will give you better control over your weapon. Remember, smooth is fast. Smooth is accurate. When you're done, go through the door to the right. by throwing them through the windows on the structure. You can also test their effectiveness by throwing them at Cadet Wilson. Wilson has volunteered to experience precisely how non-lethal weapons are designed to disorient people with a very loud bang and an extremely bright flash. If you don't look away from the detonation, you can get blinded too. CS gas causes people's eyes to water and affects their breathing. Makes it difficult for them to do anything other than cough for a short period of time. C2 
two is great for opening doors quickly and surprising the perps. Now stand back and blow it. Nice. I never get tired of that. You do need to be careful. You're not these. too late. They are explosives. Anyone directly on the other side get of the Get down! Hands in the air! Seriously injured. Why are Officer you yelling Hansen at me? Officer was smart enough to give up. Hands up! But the perps, and sometimes even the victims, don't give up that easily. You are authorized to take down anyone who's aiming a weapon. Wait, is there some mistake person. here? You but gotta stop the shooting. You should fire your weapon only in defense of life. If you're going to lead a tactical element, you better start working with them. The team is in the room to the right. Order them to fall in. And let's see how you work together. Gold, fall in and stay close. I'll take point. Understood. Nice to following. I don't think I quite heard you, Fields. What did I'm you say? You. Nothing, sir. Fields here has a big mouth. But you'll be glad he's around when you're knee-high in brass. Okay, let's see if you guys can clear a room. Order the team to clear the room behind me. Get in there and clear. Copy. On it. Time to move. Go! Nice. Clear so far. Good one, LT. Don't make me come down this Clear. way. I shut the lights off. Room on clear. Follow them in and use the flashlights mounted on your firearm to navigate to the next door. Beware of doorways. Most SWAT fatalities occur when the team is ambushed as they come through the door. Deploying a grenade into the doorway will buy your team time to clear the threshold. Go ahead and do an open bang and clear on that door. Ready, bang. Open and clear. Right on. Let's roll. No visible threats. Trailers, let's go. Fields, check right. clear. Gerard, it's clear, clear here. It's a clean open doorway. It's often best to scout out a room from a safe distance. Back in the day, we used a mirror on a stick. Simple, but effective. Nowadays, there's a high-tech gadget for everything. For corners and open doors, we have the OptiWand. The OptiWand's a tiny camera at the end of a telescoping tube. You can even use it to peer under a closed door to scope out a room before you enter it. Use the OptiWand on this doorway to scout out what's ahead. You should be able to stand on your side of the door and stick the wand through the doorway without entering the room. When you've finished with Take the care wand, of that room. tell the element to clear the room. Move it. Go, go, go. Clear so far. Room clear. Trailers needed. Air it's clear. I'm clear. When the team discovers a hallway while clearing, they will enter it and wait for you. This prevents the team from becoming overextended. Have them fall in and then move up to the intersection. What the hell was that for? Deploy sting and clear. Fall in and prepare to move. You now have two in position. directions of travel. Sometimes it's best to split up your element to perform different tasks. Command the blue team to stack up on the door at the end of the hallway. That way, they can cover your back while you and the red team move to the door on the left. Blue, stack up on that door. Copy. On it. Good. Red team, now you tell back, the red team to fall in and move down to the other door. Red team, regroup and stand by to move. With you. Okay. You can keep tabs on your officers when you're separated from them by observing their movements through the helmet cameras. Check out what Blue is seeing right now. When you're ready, move into the next room, and then we'll start getting fancy. Get her open and clear it. Again. of a mission. 
they will provide valuable intel and can even take out a bad guy without the team ever getting in a way. Sierra will be finished. Continue up and go into the room with the target dummy. Sweet. Donuts. Nobody told me there'd be donuts. <laughs> 